What's going on, guys? Ladies and gentlemen, we are finally about to start One Punch Man Season 2. And I welcome you guys back to this. I know, I know, I know. There's been a bunch of episodes out, but I have not gotten a chance to do this. What I'm going to do for you guys today, I am going to do five episodes of the beginning of one punch man season two and then i'm gonna try to catch up as they go along i know there's like nine episodes out so we're gonna jump into this um i heard that the animation is not so bad it was like over people were overreacting on saying over the the um the um the animation was gonna be terrible from what they saw in the trailer and all of this other stuff so we're going to jump into this, see what it's all about. I'll judge for myself if the animation is, um, is bad, um, is as bad or is, you know what I'm saying? It's not as detailed, whatever the situation is, because we all know it's not Madhouse that's doing it this time around. So, because they couldn't wait for Madhouse to be, because Madhouse said they would have been able to do it next year, um, but they couldn't wait because the, it's the hype. It's the same situation that went down with game of thrones um i think they they should have waited a little bit longer or did more episodes and they did not do that and now everybody pretty much everybody thinks that the last season of game of thrones is trash okay so i'm gonna jump into this um to be honest don't have a lot of high expectations animation wise it's still a very interesting story to see how things develop from last season when it comes on to how is um have they finally recognized who saitama is um genos being who he is um being watching out for i don't remember exactly he got warned about metal knight i think i, I think it was metal knight i don't remember exactly i'm still interested to see how um tornado to see these these people man these new people that we got introduced to at the end of season one um metal bat um of course i'm excited to see the legendary moomin rider <laughs> of course his legend goes on um it would be so dope though if they wrote this character moomin rider to 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 get into the fold acquire some some awesome powers and be able to actually move up um from his current um class which is i think he's in the he's at the ba bottom of the what the c class or was it because it's only is c is c b a and s right if i'm not wrong i don't think there's a d class i'm pretty sure you guys will let me know if there is a d class i'm not 100 percent sure on that but i'm pretty sure that I'm kind of sure there isn't, but yes, let's jump into this reaction, man. See what this is all about, um, and to see how they continue this series. So I will see you guys back here for the review. Go watch these five episodes. Let me know what you think. All right. So catch you guys later. It's your boy Terry Reacts. See you guys for the review. Okay, so six episodes of One Punch Man season two, and I'm I'm riled up. I'm riled up. Season two, definitely so far, way better start than season one, of course. Um, this guy Garu, Garo, Garu, whatever you want to call it, pretty cool character man um bangs bang had to get his his older brother and now they're going to go find garrow to stop him so garrow just wants to be a monster he wants to be on the monster side because the monsters are always getting beat up and he's like why do the heroes always win on these tv shows man you know what i'm saying the heroes always win the villains always lose the monsters always lose so I'm going to be a monster. I'm choosing to be on the monster's side. 
represent the monsters, okay? So I could beat up these heroes and show them who's boss. But he got one hit or quit. <laughs> he got one hit by by Saitama. Knocked him the hell out. He was like, bruh, who are you chopping, bruh? Let me show you what a real chop is, okay? Pow! <laughs> you know what I mean? So that was pretty cool, man. So the story right now is that they're being attacked by an organization, right? And it's obvious these, this organization is a bunch of monsters. I don't know if it's being led by a human. It, it's a possibility that it's being led by a human. Um, but also these monsters seems like they have a plan. They wants to get hostages. I don't know what their demands are going to be, but it seems like they want hostages um, and they want hostages of high profile people like people who run the, the hero organization, maybe investors in the, in, in the hero organization. Um, so that's pretty cool. So we have Garo running around and also they tried to recruit Garo to their organization or whatever. Um, and he refused. So that was pretty dope to see that he has no interest in fighting with monsters. He just want to be a monster of his own and just decimate heroes. That's all he has the desire to do. Um, I'm kind of surprised at the fact that he didn't attack Metal Bat, um, attack Metal Bat while his sister was there. Like that was pretty dope. Like it just shows, goes to show you that he's just half to heroes. He's just out to prove strength. He's not really out to kill because he hasn't really killed anyone. He's just beat them up really bad. So he's not out to kill anyone. It doesn't seem that way, at least not yet. So I haven't seen him kill anyone, but at the same time, you know, I don't think he'll ever kill anyone, but I, he's still yet to be seen if he will. So, um, I don't know what to think in that arena as in, will he ever kill anyone? Because he seems, um, I don't know. Like his character is very, is, is very mixed. Like he's not arming the boy with the book, you know what I'm saying? And he's not harming little, you know, little kids or you know, civilians or anything like that. But if you do get in his way, if you're a hero, you will get smashed, right? So he's the type of person where it's very hard to put his character into a category. So it's, so in that aspect, it's pretty dope. We learned a lot of information over these six episodes, which is very interesting. Um, the tournament that Saitama is in right now, like the, 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 the dude that just beat um, the snake guy, the dude that beat him up, um, I think his name is Shiryu or something like that. I think it is. Um, he's pretty dope. I can't wait to see him and Saitama go against each other, which I, I, I'm pretty, I, I think they will end up fighting. Um, seems like they're the strongest in the tournament right now. I don't see anybody beating Saitama, of course, but his idea is to experience martial arts. Um, not necessarily that Garo would show up, but, um, but he's proven he's already beaten the last champion and, and now it's just that guy from, from four years ago, they said that won it four years ago. So he's the guy to be, cause he's like, he's so casual. Like he learned, you know what I'm saying? I don't like people who have natural talent and they're pompous with it. Like those are the guys you want to punch in the mouth all the time whether it be at fighting whether it be, for anything in life when you're a natural at it you still need to be humble still need to be humble don't be a pompous jerk asshole about the fact that you're good at something it, do, it does not do good for your character and nobody wants to be around you okay so you can't be pompous about it just be you be humble you know what i'm saying and understand that there are other people that are working hard to, to get to the level that you got to so easily and it's taking them more time. So you got to respect that. So I don't like him already. So Geno's all, all, almost got beat up by the cockroach, but he has some, he, he had installed some, some new things because of his encounter with Sonic, you know, 
so some i don't know what it is some some speed stopping glue or whatever oil or whatever it is to stop the speed of you know people so he did that just because when he was like i didn't want to use this because i don't want to acknowledge the fact that sonic is pretty fast because he is fast he he can turn up but saitama is not a joke <laughs> either so um okay so let's talk about the technical aspects of this um going in didn't have high expectations because it's not madhouse that's doing this season right they have handed it over because they couldn't wait but i have to say man when it comes on to the animation they've really they've really outdone they haven't outdone madhouse but they've done more than i expected you know what i'm saying like they've really they've surpassed what i've expected because so many negativity behind when people watch the trailer i was not impressed with the trailer either i was not impressed with the trailer either but now watching the show they might have saw all the criticism and maybe kind of um fix some things about what we were seeing plus the trailer also judging it just by the trailer too was a bit preemptively um um you know but at the same time it was still pretty cool to um to see that they they've really stepped up their game um the studio that is animating this they've really tried to really really give you that action and i feel um as i said it's not as fluid as madhouse animation but it was still pretty dope to see the stuff that they do um they're doing a pretty good job of animating um genesis movement still looks epic just like how to do it with sonic and saitama's movie I haven't really seen saitama do anything yet so um as in you know animation wise like we've not seen him fly around him being in a real fight you know so we've seen how they're they're animating um garrow off the chain what they're doing with him I love I love his animations. They've they've really dived in to make you understand that this character is the real deal right here, it, um, against the the regular heroes except Saitama. So he's doing pretty cool. Um, the style, man, that um, the flowing water I think it's it's called that style is ridiculous, man. And if if he's that good at it, what is going to happen when him is he gonna become is he stronger than than Silver Fang? Is he stronger than Silver Fang's brother? Who knows? You know what I'm saying? So but I'm I'm waiting to see that showdown because they have to show that before um he goes up against Saitama again, which I don't know. He's not on Saitama's level. Like I don't see him on Saitama's level. No way, no how. He's not on Saitama's level. No matter what he does, because he's getting He's getting hit by class hey heroes. He's getting hit and he's getting outsmarted. He's getting sneaked up on. So that's why I say he's not on Saitama's level. Like he's not there. He's not even he's not even a, as strong as 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 um what's his name? Boros, right? He's not. He's not. Let's just be honest about it. He's I don't see him on that level. I I think I think Boros would wipe the floor with him. Uh, and that's just what I'm saying. Like in comparison, that those two are are the height of the series right now. Like that's the level. Um, that's the the pinnacle right now. Saitama then Boros, okay. And I I don't see him on Boros. Yes, he's on that level. He's definitely an S class. If you want to put him in that category, put him in a class. He's definitely S class. Could be the top of the S class too. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how he would do against so um somebody like Tor Tornado or Bang yet, so I don't know. Right now, he's beaten two S class heroes. Pretty much, right? He, I don't think he really beat Metal Bat, but I'm gonna give him that one. I'm gonna give him that one. But but in any case, man, animation, the sound design, definitely they've kept it the same. You know what I'm saying? They've kept those the, the sound design pretty pretty um the same as what we, we, we have come to expect. So they definitely have a ten out of ten for that. The voice acting has not changed. The funny, 
the 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 light mood of this anime has not changed so at least they didn't mess up anything other than the animation has definitely dropped a little bit because they they can't seem to get that fluidness that madhouse brought to the table madhouse animation is always top notch they bring it every single time so i'm i've yet to be disappointed by madhouse so i hold them in very high standards when i hear that they're doing an anime right whatever they're doing so thank you guys for watching as always man it's always awesome to come on here talk to y'all about these animes hope you guys enjoy this as much as i did um oh you know this is kind of like a surprise i never told you guys that i was gonna do this um you guys knew that i was gonna do season two of opm but you didn't know when it was gonna come out so i usually do this with one punch man i never tell you guys because it's always a surprise if i get the time i get it done okay so thank you guys for watching as always just remember, you are Terror Squad. I am Mr. Terabyte React, and I will see you guys later for the next episodes. I don't know when I'm going to do them, but I'm going to do them.